I really hate having to think before my second alarm goes off in the morning, but oh man, this morning, I realized a potential fatal flaw with my scheduling at the theater. I mean, not fatal, fatal, but most of my work is done post event and then pre the next event. And so um, we have, I got an advance yesterday for a show, which I thought was today, but it's actually tomorrow. It's like, it looks like adjudication, like a dance competition. So they're coming in at eight o'clock tomorrow, um, the adjudicators and the dancers are coming in at 9.30. And then kind of the same situation the next day. I'm scheduled at eight the following day and I realized this morning, I mean, I thought it was today, but I realized this morning that, oh my God, I won't have time to do my stuff before that next event comes in. Um, so I was like, wait, do I have to work this afternoon? Because again, I thought it was today. And so it's like, <laughs> I like to wait until my second alarm goes off before I get up, but I'm like on my email and like checking my schedule and stuff. And so, yeah, this is, this is basically the issue that I just brought up in the staff meeting uh, the other day and that I was very frustrated about because I got a little bit dismissed about it. Um, but I was assuming this wouldn't be an issue until we kind of open up and we have like events at night and then production during the day and then potentially events at night again. Like that was like foreseeing that problem. Well, <laughs> I foresaw it. It just happened a lot sooner than I anticipated. So I mean like the only nice thing is thankfully I'm still here and it's not my replacement because she I don't think would have enough experience to be looking as deeply as I am into things. So, but the great thing too is She's coming in on Friday for training, but <laughs> if the theater's overrun, I'm gonna have to restructure my plans for that day. There's definitely computer stuff and other things we can do, but yeah. <sighs> so I was jazzed to be off Thursday. I don't think I'm gonna be off Thursday now. In fact, I think I'm gonna be working in the afternoon, which I hate. I'd rather work in the morning and get it over <laughs> with. And um, yeah, and then I think that puts me at like an obscenely long amount of shifts again like six in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, six in a row. I love that. <laughs> At least the only thing is I, I feel pretty good in regards to my sewing almost being done. I should be able to finish the cotton pads today, no issues, and maybe even the wristlets. So, you know, look at the bright side, <laughs> but it's <laughs> Alrighty, so I actually ended up having a busier day than I thought I was going to have at work, which, which was nice, but I did have some chat time with my techs, and two of the techs that were in were like, yeah, we kind of saw how, because I, I think I mentioned staff meeting, like, you kind of got dismissed when I brought up legitimate concerns, and they're like, yeah, we kind of saw that. That wasn't cool, so <laughs> it was just nice to, like, okay, like, one, I'm not going crazy, I'm not the only one seeing this, I mean, I already know one of my other coworkers saw it, but two that like got got that support so that was nice and then I went to Fabricland after work um, I do have to work tomorrow too now <sighs> so much for not working six days in a row but it's fine um, <laughs> went to Fabricland after work to find thread for um, the, the the pink the pink cotton pads peachy I guess they're kind of peachy and um, that was a struggle. I knew what number I needed, which was nice. It was 372. And I went and I was looking at all the pinks and peaches and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it. And I was like, what, maybe they only have it in a bigger size now. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, how good is my memory? I should have taken a picture of this. Like, I'm going to have to match this. Just, just hoping for the best. And then I found 372 and I pulled out the the one that was in there and I looked at them like this is 371 I was like oh. but fortunately the second one was 372 so I did get it it looks so pale it is like such a pale tanny pink but it's exactly what I needed and then I also went to get this other potentially get this other fabric it was, had octopuses and flowers on it super adorable and I saw it first thing and when I went in I'm like okay but get the thread first and I went over I'm like I don't love this as much I was like well let me look at the other like nautical themed stuff I was like okay I'm like let me look at the space stuff because I do love me some space fabric especially if it's sparkly <laughs> also because I was working on um these guys yesterday and they're just so pretty those ones aren't sparkly as they are like shiny but I do have that black sparkly fabric anyways 
So I was looking, I wasn't really finding anything. And then I kind of walked where they have their sale stuff again. And then I saw it and I knew I needed to have it. Look at this. It's so pretty and it's so sparkly and I have no idea what I'm gonna make out of it, but I needed to have it. So I now have two meters of this, which is exactly the same thing that I did when I got, let's, let me put that somewhere safe, when I got the black space fabric that I love. Can I get this out without destroying everything? Like that's just so pretty. This one's definitely shinier or it could just look shinier and sparklier because it's on the darker background. But <laughs> when I got that, I was like, I need two meters of this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I need two meters. And I made masks and I made hair ties and I made wristlets and that's a bag that I have cut that I, Still need to like cut the interior of, but honestly at this point, it's gonna be waiting until after I get back from Blind Channel, which is fine because I think I'm making it for me. And so maybe I'll make a bag or many other things. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. So to that end, I'm gonna continue doing things I'm excited about, which is sewing, my obsessive sewing. Hoping, hoping? I was trying to say hopefully and hoping at the same time and it didn't really go well. Hoping to just blast those, um, cotton pads out of the way it's currently just after one and I I get to sleep into work so I don't have to work till the afternoon so that's nice um but just kind of hoping to get as much done as I can tonight on those hopefully getting them all done and everything snipped and then onto the wristlets perhaps even like that would be great and then I'll just be so happy when I'm done sewing and I just have to do the designing and printing and cutting of all the tags but <laughs> Maybe having like an actual cricket would be great at this point, but baby steps. Anyways, I'm just like, it's been a good day, even though like I have to work tomorrow and I wasn't planning on to, on, on, I wasn't planning to, planning on it. I'm, the words are coming too fast. Um, and I might need to do a split on Friday, depending. It's still good. I got to talk to Strudel's mom about stuff today. We were messaging and last night. And so, yeah, it's just, it's a pretty good day, all things considered. Forever trying to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, oh, yeah. But I already know better. I'm a go getter, and I got me. I'm good. I'm head over shoes on hardwood. For me, you know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong, uh. So go ahead, tell me all the ways you miss it. How you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave you too much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah, I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it forever Try to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with the girl from the east side yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I have been busy. So all the comp pads are now sewn and I still have to snippy snip, but I figured I had the white thread in my machine anyway. So I figured I would do these scrunchies. I still have to snip those, but these, I love them. They're so cool. Um, I really love the big size. And then because I was doing the internal parts, I did the scrunchie as well. And then I did get one set of these done because again they were using white thread so now I'm gonna switch to the blue and I can do these and I can close up these scrunchies and then I only have five more patterns to do so it should go pretty quickly so that is very exciting just had dinner um steak and mojos and watched cloud with a chance of meatballs so pretty solid and now I'm gonna continue watching this and continue sewing and maybe by the end of the night, I can finish sewing everything and then we'll get to the, the snippy snip and see how that goes. But yeah, pretty productive, feeling pretty good. <laughs> it is official. I sewed the last wristlet. I still have to trim the thread. And I also sewed <laughs> these satin scrunchies that have been sitting there just needing me to do this part since like December, I think. <laughs> I still do have a bunch of yellow satin 
scrunchies cut as well and I think I've sewed them this way but I still need to sew them this way but I hate working with satin so we'll see if that happens but that's where we're at it is currently uh, 10 after 10 I'm gonna do some some thread trimming on these guys and on these guys I don't know if I'll get them all done I this is I, it's so nice I don't know if I'll get it all done but I'll at least get a start on it and that is what matters I'm feeling good because my goal was to kind of get everything finished being sewn tomorrow I, that was really hard to say um, and I am done that ahead of schedule so if I can get all the threads clipped and everything and then start working on the tags. That's the next step after this. So yeah, that's where we're at. I got this little one too, but anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm just gonna keep watching my show and start the clipping. Alrighty, so all the thread is trimmed on these and everything over there as well. Um, and I put them into stacks of seven, which is what I sell them in stacks of seven. This is stacks of um, extras. I kind of, I don't, count when I cut. I just cut and then I just make and then we have extras. And I also delint it, all of these two, which is important because of the tear cloth. But I now have a situation on me. <laughs> There's so much thread. Um, but more importantly, <laughs> a situation down here. So I'm gonna, I'll vacuum soon now that I'm <laughs> mostly done. But Maybe just try to get some of this up. So this is like a life hack, uh, like using a flip-flop or like this has a rubber bottom. It's actually pretty helpful. So good job to, <laughs> to that life hack. <laughs> My goodness, there's so much thread. I also need to... Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of time, maybe like pull the garbage out of the bin so it can be bigger and like actually throw the garbage that's falling out of <laughs> the bin back into it and just try to deal with a little bit of this thread. And then I might, depending on how I feel, oops, just knocking things over. These are um, bins with more reusable cotton pads. So I might pull those out and just kind of rotate them with this stack just so I can kind of get a sense of how many I have because I think I have like what four eight eleven fourteen <laughs> twenty twenty three sets here and then I don't know what I have up here something something similar and uh yeah I think tomorrow will be dedicated to <laughs> cleaning maybe a bit um inventory because I need to know how many tags of everything I need to make and then also to um making the tags I guess <laughs> took a second completely gone um but we shall see we're gonna put this back up <laughs> it's so hard for me to not be like yes I must have one of everything because they're so cute um I'm trying to limit myself oh also <laughs> I sent my breakfast buddy a picture of the fabric I bought today and she's like, can you make me a mask and scrunchie out of that? And I'm like, I don't know if I have time. So we'll see if I have time because I definitely have to wash things first. <sighs> but that, that's, that's the end of a very productive day. So I'm pretty jazzed with wh where I've gotten to on all of this. Good morning. It is the next day being Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. It's um, 11 o'clock. I've been up for about an hour and I've just been at my desk working in Photoshop on the tags for the things I've made. So the wristlet one is done, I think. Um, and like the lanyard one and the cotton pads. This is, let's see if it'll do the thing. Yeah, so this is what the wristlet one looks like. I, I want to do a test print on all of them. That is not what the wristlet one looks like. That clearly says reusable cotton pads. Um, anyways, I want to do a test print on all of these just to see how they look um, when they're actually printed. Hopefully it's like the logo is fine and everything. And then um, I would just need to print the number that I need, which is very exciting, and then cut everything. I ended up finishing, I had um, a bunch of scrunchie tags already printed, so I ended up cutting them out yesterday. Uh, so I have like 
50 here, but the order for bubs is like 20. So I really only have like 30. So <sighs> that's fun. But I'm feeling great that like this is the stage we're at. Uh, the last one I have to make is the um, over collar pet bandana <laughs> one. And I actually, the issue with that is because they come in different sizes. So I have to do one for each size so I'm just being lazy and not doing that at the moment but it should be easy I think I should be able to use the template that I used for the wristlets this is it here I tried to use it for the um, reusable cotton pads but I thought it was just a little too uh, condensed which is why I went to a slightly larger size and I think it'll be a lot better but for the wristlets and the the the, 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 the other ones it should be fine they're like two like just under wow they're like just under three inches, so to like my finger, and then they're like an inch and a half high. So like maybe that's even too big. I don't know. That's why I gotta print it and I gotta test. So, <sighs> but like I said, I'm feeling great that this is the stage that I am at. And I think there's like, <laughs> so I have cactus fabric. I have two types of cactus fabric. And one I had a lot of, and one night I only had enough to do six and my cotton pads are sets of seven. And so I was like, well, it's fine. I'll just do a, a mixed set with the two different cacti. And I count it and I thought I had enough, but I am short one to do a full set uh, with the, um, the, the second, the mixed cacti, the second one. <sighs> and fortunately I do still have some of the fab other fabric. And so I think I might do another cotton pad just so then I don't have just like three random, three and three of each of the other ones in random. So I pulled it last night um, and it's right here. So there we go. Other than, I mean, technically I don't have any sewing left to do. Technically. I do have those um, satin scrunchies I mentioned, but I kind of hate them. And satin is such a pain to cut. Like they're not straight lines. And so I might just not, um, but I might fix that. So we will see. I'm, uh, I'm clearly still waking up, but that's okay. I'm maybe going to get dressed here in a couple. I'm going into work, I think just before two. Um, and then going to work for a couple hours. <sighs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> it just seems so impressed. I'm just thinking and then come home and have dinner and invoicing and and more things So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can in regards to that before work and also going to um, Email back miss Sharon from blind channel. She lives on the share bear, which is the boat that we go to um, <laughs> When we're stressed and we just need to vent ah, Love her. She's one of the water taxi drivers wife and um, she's gonna helped me out with getting the store back in order which is so nice of her and um also derp, 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 brain just stopped <laughs> getting the store back in order oh and getting all my stuff priced and out because i'm gonna have to enter everything into the system the nice thing is i'll just do like cotton pads the regular scrunchies are already in there like this size and so I'll just have to add like the extra large size which like I showed yesterday is the size as you can see a slight difference in size um and then all the different sizes of the pet bandanas and then the lanyards and the wristlets like I I basically know the price um so it shouldn't be too painful to do it's just going to be the actual printing of the stickers and putting them all on and the nice thing is because I know the size of the stickers for the barcodes I'm trying to kind of adjust my tags so I know they'll fit on there anyways I'm rambling I'm gonna stop rambling and I guess move on to the pet bandanas I am straight up on my productive game today so I got those tags designed I still haven't printed them because when I test print them, if they're good, I'm just gonna print a whack at the same time. So I figured I didn't have time for that, but I did realize I had extra terry cloth cut, which is fantastic because it means that I just need to cut the cotton piece. So I'm gonna do that because it'll just be better. I also made my bed for like the first time in a very long time. And you can see the remnants of my laundry, but I folded and put anything away that didn't go in the closet. <laughs> But this just needs to go in the closet after. I was just lazy, but baby steps. Also, we are exporting a vlog. And right now I'm just packing up my bag because I am getting ready to head to work here in like the next 10 minutes. So 
<sighs> exciting. Like, I'm feeling good. I've crossed a lot of things off my list today, and um, I see no reason why I can't continue to be productive post-work. I think I might do laundry when I get home, unless it's like torrential downpour, and then maybe vacuum. <laughs> the floor is actually not looking too bad after I went through with the slipper last night. Uh, but yeah, so probably vacuum, invoicing, and uh, maybe cut a couple things out of fabric that I want to do. So yeah, feeling, feeling overwhelmingly like I'm productive and getting stuff done, which is great because this week, like I said before, like it feels really a crunch week. So Fingers crossed, everything's okay. Alrighty, and I have arrived back at the theater. Um, I'm whispering even though there's no reason to whisper because like I'm well away from the actual theater part of the theater. <laughs> um, but there's three more dance numbers left, so I'm here a little bit early, which I knew I would be because of rides and stuff. <laughs> My mom almost forgot to drop me off. She's just started going to her work. <laughs> I was like, where are you going? Um, but I'm here, I'm gonna hang out, probably watch some YouTube, because I haven't really done a lot of that today because I was um, busy being productive. <laughs> Miracle. And um, yeah, probably, it's like 10 to two, so probably like 10 after two, I should be able to start doing things, which will be very exciting. And it is snack time. We've got some crackers and a pop and a mask. <laughs> I'm also realizing that I'm likely going to have to do a split shift tomorrow, so come in in the morning, train my replacement and then come in in the afternoon and take care of the post-show stuff because we don't know yet when the what the group is using the next day and when they're coming in and so just be easier to not have to worry about it so fun fun at least like the one nice thing is like i don't work a lot i mean you notice i work four hours a day three to six days a week to <laughs> and so it's just really nice that my last paycheck before I depart where I have to buy all my food and any random toiletries and stuff is going to be my biggest one in months. So that's nice. We love that. <laughs> um, and then once I get out to Blind Channel consistently working, I think it's like 56 hours a week. Yeah, something like that. It's good times. <sighs> Anyways, just before I picked up the camera, I heard a noise, a noise that I was like, is this, is there somebody else in the theater? And I am the only person in the theater right now. And so I was like, has somebody come into the theater? So I was like wandering around because <laughs> like the, the biggest issue with someone coming into the theater because they would have a key. So it's someone I work with is them not realizing I'm in the theater and setting the alarm on me, which is just not a fun thing to happen. It is turned on on me before. Cause I think like whoever was leaving accidentally hit a button. And so when I put in my code, it was too long. It was very stressful, but anyways, I'm gonna have my snack, take a quick break, and then hopefully I will be done by 6.30. Love that. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I've got about 20 minutes left of my shift, and I'm just getting stuff set up for training tomorrow. I've got our uh, COVID pandemic protocol and other various pieces of paper that will be important. Um, normally, I wouldn't bother bringing them up here, but because the theater is gonna be not like full, but busy-ish tomorrow with a dance competition and the adjudicators and the dancers and all that fun stuff. I can't do anything with this hair. It's just gonna be what it is. I figured it would be better to bring it up here so we just have like, this can be our landing zone spot. This is where we return to and where we get things done. So, should be fun. We're gonna be in a bit of a time crunch tomorrow before the first people show up. So, I think we'll do that and then we'll come in here and then maybe we'll do computer stuff because I have to teach her how to do everything that I do and keep in mind I am a supervisor of my position in like three shifts, maybe four if it's going terribly, we'll try to get another one in, but I think it should be fine. She's done similar jobs before. <laughs> um, it's just a matter of how we do it. So should be, should be okay. I also haven't really trained anybody for a long time. I used to train people all the time. Like when I worked at McDonald's, I was a crew trainer. That was ages ago though. Um, and when I worked at Canadian Tire, which was my last job before this. Wow, that was like four years ago. <laughs> wow, five years ago? Math, four seems right. Um, when I worked there, I 
I frequently would do like uh, reach check pre-training so that when our actual trainer came in who could certify us, people knew what they were doing. And I'd also do the training on the wave, which is a worker assist vehicle that goes up and down, plus just training in general in my department and that kind of stuff. So it's something I like to do, but also like when you're trying to do it and there's other things coming up, like me working tonight was not the plan. <laughs> so I have to adjust my training schedule, but she'll be in tomorrow. That sounded aggressive, it's just because my ring was on my finger. Um, Sunday and then the following Monday, I think. So I think I think we should be okay. I'm not concerned about the majority of it. It's just, just the supervisor stuff and the like ordering supplies because they screwed up their new, the new ordering system is terrible. And so I just get anxiety anytime I have to order from it. But that's a problem for another day, which is either tomorrow or whatever. I'm gonna, I think just pack up my bag because honestly, like, I'm done, there's nothing for me to do. I got us to a point where tomorrow we will be able to finish everything before people show up. And so then we'll just figure out in the future how to teach her how to do the stuff that I did today. <laughs> Cause yeah, like I, I mean, I didn't rush rush because I know I got four hours, but it still took me like three and a half hours probably to get everything done today. No way we could have got that done tomorrow. Coming in at eight when everyone's showing up at nine. That is not enough hours. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go pack up my bag and uh, I'll see you at home now. Okay, so current update, I'm home. I've had dinner, my laundry is done and um, I printed like a million scrunchie tags. I tried, I test printed the other ones and it was not working. It was like really degraded. So I'm gonna have to like try to figure out what the problem is there because those are printing fine which means it wasn't an ink issue and now i am invoicing very exciting <laughs> i'm just struggling through the last couple things um and waiting to hear back from another so not the end of the world but yeah anyways very productive it's uh 20 to 9. <sighs> feeling like i'm running out of time to do things but also do you see you see that fabric back there? I washed it, which means I can use it because, as I think I mentioned yesterday, my breakfast buddy was like, I need a mask and scrunchie. And so I was like, well, I gotta wash it to do those things. So I figured I'd wash it today and then we'll see if we have the time. Okay, so I am showered and I got another vlog edited, which is exciting. And I also think I figured out the issue with my tags and why they were printing and looking terrible. The resolution was at 72 and it should be like at minimum 300 to be quality so i worked on that a bit and then um i was like yeah i got this i'll keep working on it for a bit and then i realized that i spelt machine as machine and um so i figured maybe i should stop for the night so we're stopping on that i got i've been asking my boss in blind channel about this one thing to invoice for a while and um <laughs> He, okay, okay. And <laughs> there was this one from like a week ago. And I was like, okay, my friend who works at a blind channel, he's like, I think this is basically where this spot is. So I'm like, okay, that's great. Except it, ne it didn't say on the calendar where the group was coming from. And it's really hard to bill to something if you don't know what the start point is. And so I've sent him like four emails going, um, hey, I vaguely know where this is, um, but can you tell me where they left from? Nothing. Uh, oh, I, I have to talk to the skipper. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, okay, did you find out from him where they were traveling from? I, I'm still not sure where they're traveling from, so I can't invoice it, but I kind of know where they're going to. And then today he was like, oh, if you're not sure, um, exactly just draft it up and uh, leave the amount empty and I'm like I I was literally I got another email that said oh don't worry I did it but I was <laughs> literally going to be like blank to blank like blank to where I know where it's going and driving me nuts anyways it's it's dealt with it's put to bed so we're all good and uh, I'm probably actually gonna go to bed soon myself and uh, tomorrow is another day I think I've decided that I need to do like a split shift because uh brain 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 it's working so great
it really stopped because Saturday I have no idea what's going on at the theater so I would rather make sure that there's not going to be an issue Saturday and then depending on what happens at the theater Saturday I might have to go in Saturday afternoon just for a bit um like I don't think as long as today because I I'm training the next day I just if she was fully trained then it would be okay because we could just split the tasks because it's about three and a half hours worth of work but we only have two hours to do it in and so if we could split it it'd be fine but I don't know that we can so it's it's it'll be okay anyways I'm rambling for no reason like I said I'm gonna go to bed here soon so I will see you in the next one <laughs> good night <laughs>